Hello, everybody. I want to take a moment here to uh, review and so very quick. This is a quick lesson, something that happened just last session. All right, so Enso came out uh, during pre-market hours saying that they were going to sell all of their labs to LabCorp. Now, that created a huge amount of volatility during the pre-market hours, and obviously, they were selling all of those labs to, to these people, LabCorp, and that intends to translates to a ton of uh, a couple of million bucks to the company right so uh, if they do that mm, you might as well put in the scale okay is, is it going to be more revenue what's going to happen more liabilities uh, or I, I, are they not actually making money with the labs and this is the reason why they're selling to lack core but the reason but all of that the important thing is the reaction of the actual market and not necessarily just news if you notice right here, there's a couple of spots that we were hitting during the pre-market hours, right? But this is this was actually a key thing for me. I took a small position here, and I was looking for the push. I thought that it was gonna move my higher, a lot more higher. And um, we have seen the market actually pull back over the last couple of days with all of the things that are happening with the banks. So nowadays, with the whole market pulling back, Obviously, I'm going to be shorting a couple of things here or there. But being that most of the companies right now are pulling back with the market and NASDAQ because the banking sector is actually pulling the whole thing down. Um, when you see something, especially on the uh, healthcare sector, a lot of people are probably going to jump in on it, right? Uh, looking for the next deal, the next rabbit that is actually running, the next big thing. And... If a lot of people on, on Reddit or Wall Street Bets or Stock Twist or Twitter or whatever, they start looking at this thing, every, everything else is pulling back. There's really not a lot of stuff to, to trade with a low price. This thing actually might run. So I started to see how this this levels were very key and important, and it was being retested every single time prior to the pullback. And I took... Uh, a couple of shares. I can't remember the stock price right now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm making this video as I go. I can just pull back, and I'm gonna I'm gonna post the, the the trade here. I have everything there on the Discord. So I got in, and then I noticed that as as he was going, he started just to be heavy every, every time he came here. It was just retesting in the 222 area, just the key area that we were not able to break you notice right here this huge resistance right for me this was like a ooh, big no no so as i noticed this thing pulling back here and it broke here but it just rejected right away and for me it was a huge deal i didn't feel like it was actually holding the way that it did if you pull back uh, let's see that look at the pattern here you start to notice how we have this trend here where we're making higher highs I mean higher lows pardon me you start to make higher lows you start to trend up here but every time we retest these areas somebody just unloads on the bid and it just pulls back right and at the breakout here there was somebody already waiting and then just unloaded all of a sudden, it's this right back inside of the pocket. And it goes right under to the pre-market hours. Right to trade right out of that pocket again. And look at how the consolidation went. The whole thing was just pretty much almost sideways. He held a little bit. Reclaimed this prior area of support on the pocket. Reclaimed, tested this area, pulled back again, hold. And then came up, but... It didn't really trade as I expected. I thought that this push was going to happen back here and that it was going to hold, come back, retest the same areas of resistance to become that support. And then from that point, it was just gonna follow through to the upside, but it, it didn't really happen. Uh, the big deal is for me, I started looking at the formation here and all of these areas that were 
being retested, 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 were not being broken. It did not have that breakout. And the one time that it did have a breakout, then somebody was just unloading on top of the 222 resistance, right? So it just rejected right away. From a high of 228, it just dropped a matter of a couple of seconds to 208. So you just drop a couple of cents right there. And then it just rejected that view out zone. So when you start to see things retesting areas that are key now you you can have the possibility that it's somebody that's unloading here finally gets taken out and that supply actually goes away and the demand has higher that definitely you're gonna have a run but being that you start to see this and no possibility for the breakout what i chose to do and i want i choose to do is just either say half and see if it works out to mitigate my risk or just get out outright and revisit after if there's a possibility that you can see coming right back like it did back here although full transparency i did not trade this bounce off of this support area from the pre-market hours right here once and twice once it this area of support reclaim and held here for the second time giving us this nice leg up here i did not trade that it was a pretty much a 50 cent almost a 50 cent move on this push i didn't really trade that full transparency i was not uh interested already because of this rejections back here i just wanted to bring you the video i thought it was going to be a cool some sort of informational thing and very much uh maybe a good lesson for you and then it might help you moving forward identify where those key areas are actually being held and that if it doesn't really break chances are you need to really get out and revisit in another time for now i'll let you guys go stay green happy trading